Let's take a quick look on how to make this breaking effect inside of After Effects. So we're doing the break effect new from AE Scripts. And basically what I have here is a chocolate bar and also one where I made a little bit of a break in the center of it. You know, it's not super well done. Look at the job done. So we have the background, we have the broken layer. Go ahead and save that in After Effects. Let's open up our crunch bar and bring it in as a composition, retain the layer sizes. And here we have our crunch bar layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this one original. I'm just gonna duplicate this. We're gonna call this crunch bar break. So let's go to the break and instead of the broken layer, we're gonna have just our background. Let's go to our extensions and let's bring out break it. And we're going to highlight this layer. We're gonna break it into pieces. Version two, let's call it. We'll call this the build. What I wanna do is bring in the crunch of broken background really quick, just so I can see where everything is. I like to unshy and work in here. And I just wanna scale this up so it matches our original one. So let's just bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna solo this so I can see where this break is in the middle here. And on the draw mask, I'm gonna make this a little bit closer to our break inside of our Photoshop layer here. So I'm just gonna make the mask a little bit closer to what we had. And now with this broken crunch layer, I'm going to, let's go ahead and parent it to layer two since we're getting a little bit of that cool wiggle effect. And let's just turn it off and see what this looks like. Cool, so now we have a break that's right inside the middle here and it's closer to where our break's gonna be on our other candy bar. Now, it just kinda looks like this little 2D image is just a little, it's a little bit too flat. So let's go ahead and bring in our crunch layer back in, and that's gonna give it a little bit more of that 3D look when all the debris is gone. So just a couple little extra tweaks we can do here. Let's give it a little bit of a position and rotation keyframe so it's breaking apart. So if we look at our pieces right now, it's rendering the whole chocolate bar. And what we wanna do is in our effect controls up here in view render, instead of all of them, we wanna see just the pieces. Okay, so we have our small pieces and we have our big pieces. Cool, so now we have just the broken pieces. All right, so let's just turn this off for a second. And let's work on the broken crunch bar and Let's duplicate this, we'll call this broken, call this one background. We'll bring in our background layer where everything is together. Background, we'll just drag that in so they're the same size. And this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and parent it to our broken layer. Now let's, do, let's duplicate this again really quick. We'll call this broken left, this one is broken right, background, background left, and background right. Just make those same cells parent the right to the right, and the left to the left. And let's just solve these guys really quick. Let's go, you know, maybe 10 frames. Position and rotation, make keyframes. Let's go ahead, maybe just five frames. Okay, and the left can go left can go a little bit this way and a little bit out just a little bit. And the right can turn the other way, come out a little bit. So obviously we can't see these. Let's make a quick mask right down the middle for these guys. That's left, let's do the right side. And let's do the same masks for the left and the right. We're just gonna copy and paste these over. And so the left, since being parented, they should move as well. So we got a little crunch happening. All right, so let's turn everything back on and let's take a look at when we're getting a good amount of pieces coming out. Boom, all right, they're starting to come out right there. Let's go ahead and move our keyframes to where we're getting a little bit of a break in there. And to make these keyframes a little bit more snappy, let's go ahead and use flow. 
we're just going to get a nice cubic movement there. Nice in and out. Boom. All right, cool. So once this breaks right here, we want our broken layers to turn on and our background to turn off. Let's extend this out just a little bit. Let's take a quick look. There we go. Very cool. So we're getting our uh, candy bar crunch going in there. So let's go ahead and take this build layer and let's make its own composition out of it. And we'll just call this version two. I might make it just a little bit smaller and let's give it a white background. And we have a little bit of a line here from our alpha channel. So we're just going to use the effect called mini max real quick. Let's focus on just the alpha and give it a radius of one. Um, maybe we'll give it a little bit of two, get a little bit of interesting fringing around here. Let's just go ahead and give it a simple choker now. All right. And let's set this out to, you know, maybe 30 frames. All right, there we go. Now we're using the break effect and we have a little bit of our 3D bar in there to kind of give it more than just that blank open space. Hope that helps out and I'll see you guys in the next one.